Hi, I'm Brian Neider, CEO of AbilityPath. Well, welcome to our latest newsletter. As you know, uh, we've got a great three-day weekend coming up. I hope everybody's looking forward to that. Uh, also, a reminder that February is Black History Month, and an upcoming uh, notice is March is going to be Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. So between February and March, we have a lot of opportunity to learn more about so many in our community. So take the time to learn more uh, about both Black History as well as being prepared for Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. I want to talk to you now about the state budget. As you know, the governor's proposal has significant impact, negative impact, to the funding for the state's developmental disability system. You may not be aware of it, but there are already 50,000 Californians with a developmental disability or delay that are unable to access services due to the lack of funding. What the governor is proposing is going to be catastrophic for our already fragile system of support, care, and services across the entire state. In the coming weeks, we're gonna be putting together more details for you, informing you on how you can participate in an advocacy campaign uh, with our legislators, giving them the details so they understand what's going to happen if this budget proposal goes through. We're not asking for more, we're asking to retain what we have, being able to support the services that we offer as well as every other service provider in our area and throughout the state to be able to have continuation of much needed services uh, for the intellectual and developmental disabilities community. This is a system that is already chronically underfunded. To have this gut punch coming up in the budget is a travesty and together we're confident that our voices can make a difference in what the final legislation and proposed budget is going to look like. So again, be on the uh, lookout for messages from us, emails on how you can participate in raising awareness for this funding uh, change that we're going to be advocating for. So with that, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And again, thank you for all that you do to support our services here at AbilityPath and the community that we serve from early intervention, children's therapy, inclusive educational programs, and a wide array of adult services, including employment, uh, housing, independent living, as well as our programs out at Camp Via West. So again, thank you, be well, and we appreciate all you do for us.